welcome to this tech tip for genealogy. I am Lisa Louise Cook from genealogygems.com. And in this video, we're going to follow up to our last tech tip video. Last time we were talking about using google.com to search for web pages that talk about your ancestors or anything else that you're looking for uh, for your family history. Last time we talked about Conover Burkett. He is my great great grandfather. And we ran a search using quotation marks and the or operator. But I wanted to bring up a little something that you need to keep in mind as you're using um, search operators like the quotation marks, because Google takes you really literally. And it means that whatever you ask for, whatever you tell it, that's exactly what it's going to give you. And sometimes it actually doesn't give you what you really wanted. And that's because you didn't ask for it. So let me show you how we can kind of fine tune this quotation marks search that we did to get even better results. Now, if you'll notice, Conover Burkett was in quotation marks and we had Burkett Conover and that told Google that these phrases have to be on every single web page. But OR, the search operator OR in, quote, in capital letters, tells Google it can be this phrase or this phrase, either one of them, right? What if Conover Burkett has a middle initial? What if he has a middle name? If I've said Conover Burkett in quotation marks, I've told Google something very important. Not only does this phrase have to be on every web page, it has to be exactly this phrase, nothing in between the two words. But you might know that he has a middle initial or a middle name, and that might be showing up on some of those web pages that you would really like to find. You can use the asterisk search operator to do the job for you, okay? So we're gonna go in between Conover and Burkett, and I'm just gonna put an asterisk and another space. That way, the asterisk is standing by itself, holding a spot for the middle initial or the middle name, so it's not touching either one of those words. It's just a wild card kind of holding that spot. And if we click Search, here we go. We've got four results. And look what this picked up. It has Conover and Viola Burkett. That was a web page that I put together that I was talking about my great grandfather. And by saying Conover and Viola, Google doesn't differentiate that these are individual people's names. It just sees these words and sees them in a particular order. The asterisk made it possible to pick up Conover and Burkett even though Anne Viola was in the middle. Make sense? Um, also down here, we have Conover, comma, Henry Burkett. Now, Henry was his father. Again, Google's not differentiating that Henry Burkett is a name and Conover. It just sees Conover, Henry Burkett. As far as it knows, that could be his middle name. The way that text appears on a page really dictates how Google can pick it up and how many results you get. So by using an asterisk like this, you're, you're getting a little different look at the same phrase or name, and you're getting an opportunity to see web pages that might not have shown up in your first search. So try this out. It's the asterisk. It's a search operator that is so effective in Google searches, and you are going to find better results faster. Thanks so much for joining me for this video. These tips all come from my book, The Genealogist Google Toolbox, second edition. And of course, we talk about search strategies and inspirational ideas, all kinds of great stuff over at genealogygems.com. So come check out my website, genealogygems.com. And before you leave, if you're here at the YouTube channel, click the subscribe button down below and make sure that you get all these videos because we've got lots more search operators and other great tech tips for you coming up soon. I'm Lisa Louise Cook. Thanks so much for joining me, friend. I'll talk to you soon.